So the history of Illinois, the story of Illinois, the ancient oceans of four to 500 million years ago left behind the sand that became sandstone, the seashells that became limestone, the ancient delta swamp of 300 million years ago left behind layers of mud that became shale and mixed in those layers of mud all the dead trees, the buried forests that became coal. And then the dinosaur times of 200 million, 100 million, till about 65 million years ago with the rocks and the bones left by the dinosaur times, except in Illinois, these rocks and the bones have been washed away. And that part of our book is gone. Like buying an old used paperback and then finding out someone's torn out some chapters. Unfortunately, the book of rocks of the story of Illinois is missing quite a few chapters. And as I said, almost all the dinosaur times, with the exception of a couple little places in Illinois, those pages have been torn out, washed away by wind and water. So we've reached the time of 65 million years ago. And for some reason, perhaps a great meteor crashing to Earth, perhaps changes in climate and, and volcanism, the dinosaurs die out. They become extinct across the whole planet, and they are gone. So what happens to Illinois during this time? Well, as I've said, we've lost some of that story. We don't know for sure what happens during some of that time, but we do know that following the death of the dinosaurs, when the mammals took over, and the mammals were only very small creatures like this while the dinosaurs were alive, and with the dinosaurs gone, within a few million years, we had mammals that weighed several tons wandering around the landscape. So that was happening, but again, much of that record is gone from Illinois. So what we do know was happening in Illinois is that erosion was continuing to work on Illinois, changing the landscape. We'd been an ocean. We'd been a delta swamp. We'd been something else during dinosaur times. So what's happening in Illinois following the death of the dinosaurs? Erosion is changing the landscape of Illinois again. Erosion, wind and water, but water in particular, is carving a new Illinois landscape. A great river has carved a valley through Illinois, and a great river runs through the center of Illinois. What river is this? Believe it or not, this is the Mississippi River. This is the ancient Mississippi River in its ancient valley. At this time, it did not run out here on the western border of Illinois, but instead flowed through the center of Illinois. If we look at a map of Illinois, the city of Peoria is today actually located west of where the Mississippi River used to run. Now, Peoria wasn't there in those days, and the Mississippi River isn't here today. But if you look on a map and find Peoria, the Mississippi River actually ran just east of there. So the Great Mississippi ran through the middle of Illinois. The Great Mississippi flowed through the middle of Illinois. At the same time, another great river carved a great valley through Illinois. And this river we call the Muhammad River. And it met the Mississippi in central Illinois. So these are the two great river systems in Illinois during this time. Up north, the Rock River Valley was carved into Illinois. And nearby, the Troy River Valley was carved into Illinois. You may have heard of the Rock River, but have you heard of the Troy River Valley in Illinois? Have you heard of the Muhammad River in Illinois? Have you heard of the Mississippi River going through Illinois rather than going down the west border of Illinois? This is the way Illinois looked, but this is not the way Illinois is today. What happened to Illinois? What geologic process rearranged this landscape, totally changing it, and produced the Illinois we have today? Well, about two million years ago, we've gone from the ancient ocean of four to 500 million years. 
We've gone from the Delta Swamp of 300 million years ago. We've gone through the dinosaur times of 200 million, 100 million to 65 million years ago when they died out. And then we've gone through the years since then, 50 million, 40, 30 million, while this landscape was being carved and these rivers flowed through Illinois like this. Now we're only 2 million years ago and something different is happening. The climate is cooling off. It's growing colder. And up north, way up north beyond our map of Illinois, up in Canada, snow is starting to collect, to pile up. It's not melting during the summer and instead piles deeper and deeper every winter. The snow piles up deeper and deeper, and when it gets thick enough, it changes to ice. And when the ice gets thick enough, it starts to move. And when you have moving ice, we call it a glacier. We call moving ice a glacier. And the ice ages had started. Glaciers are big, messy machines. Glaciers take rock and grind it to gravel, gravel to sand, sand to silt, silt to clay. They carry it inside themselves. Glaciers carry mud and sand and rock and gravel in the ice and carry it down and they dump it at the end of the glacier where it melts out and they build up long low hills across the landscape that we call moraines. Now moraines aren't mountains. You don't walk up to a moraine and go, wow, look at that. All right? You don't do that. Moraines aren't mountains. They're low, gentle hills. If you're riding in a car reading a book and the driver drives up over a moraine, you may never even know you've gone up and over one. But they are huge structures, 50 to 100 feet tall, sometimes several miles from front to back, and they stretch 50 to 100 miles across the Illinois landscape. These are huge structures with billions of tons of clay and silt and sand and gravel mixed up in them. Glaciers are also billion ton ice cubes. They melt and some of this stuff the glaciers have in them is sorted out by the waters as the glaciers melt. So as the glaciers melt, the gravel gets deposited and the sand gets deposited in river valleys and in nearby areas. And the silt and the clay, since it's smaller, finer material, it gets washed further down and further down, even all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, which by the time of the Ice Ages was where we think it belongs, way down south, not clear up here in Illinois like it was near the end of the dinosaur time. So glaciers rearrange the landscape by bringing in all this material, building these moraines and leaving them on the landscape, and by melting and sorting out some of this material and, as they do so, filling in some of these ancient river valleys. And this is what happened to some of these river valleys. Now, the Ice Age started, glaciers formed in Canada and moved down across into what would be the United States, and glaciers entered Illinois. Glaciers moved into Illinois and they melted away. They moved into Illinois again and they melted away again. And in doing so, they destroyed and rearranged a lot of that ancient drainage. The Muhammad River filled up mostly with sand and gravel that came out of those melting glaciers. The Mississippi also partially filled up with some of those deposits, but it still remained where it was. The Muhammad disappeared. And up north in northern Illinois, the ancient Troy Valley was filled in and vanished.